Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at the basics of CGI programming. So CGI stands for Common Gateway Interface and basically for a standard that provides, you know, an external gateway to interface with, you know, servers such as HTTP servers. So what we can basically do and what we're going to do in this example is just whip up some code that allows us to run HTML code within a Python file. So you might be thinking, why would you want to do that? Python, you know, is a great backend language. So you could, you know, do all of the Python functionality, you know, like conditional statements, loops, all of that stuff, and then pump out HTML to a web page. So a couple of prerequisites. One, make sure you've got access to some sort of server. I'm using a local server called XAMPP and it is cross platform. It works on Mac, Windows and Linux, which is fantastic. So you're pretty much covered. So I would honestly just recommend XAMPP. You could also use, you know, like an online server with one of your websites. That's fine as well. So I'll provide a link to XAMPP with the video and you know the installation etc is actually pretty self-explanatory if you have any issues as usual you know just feel free to reach out and i'll assist you the other thing is your server may need configuration to execute cgi and if that is the case and it doesn't work uh, you know by the end of the video then i recommend just checking out one of the other links i provided which is a youtube video not created by me just created by another great youtuber and in that video, he goes through the process of setting up SG, I mean CGI on your server. And he doesn't on Ubuntu, but I can confirm that it works on Mac and Windows as well, so you should be all good. But again, if you have issues, just feel free to reach out and I'll assist you in getting it set up. So now that's the prerequisites out of the way, and we're not going to be doing it in the online ID for the CGI programming section of this series, because, you know, this is basically what we're going to be writing. And... As you can see, it just doesn't print out what we want. It doesn't print out a web page because that's just a terminal. It's just a command line interface. So we've got a local server whipped up and our HT docs right here. So in here, what I'm going to do is save this file first. So I can actually get the IntelliSense. So file.py. So the first line that we need to do with a CGI application is hash exclamation mark for slash usr for slash bin for slash python so this is just essentially allowing you to access the python directory you could have this you know in non-cgi programs and it will it'll be fine but you need it for cgi programs then it's all going to be print based mainly then we're going to have a content type and this will essentially tell uh, browser that it is of type you know HTML so you know render it as HTML the no thing you're going to need is backslash R backslash N backslash R backslash N these are end of line characters so, so this is an end of line this is an end of line and I've seen some tutorials where they actually have you know omitted this but honestly it didn't work for me and most tutorials I find actually have backslash r and backslash in at least one of them but the recommended amount is two for end of line so if it doesn't work for you have a look make sure you've got this in there because this you know did trump me up a bit when i didn't have it next we're just going to essentially form a html page but using print so we're going to put print html And as usual, I like to close all tags as soon as I open them. Obviously, it doesn't have any IntelliSense to be able to do that. It's always, you know, I find a good practice to do. And you might think, why are we doing it in all separate ones instead of in the one? And I'll explain in a moment why that is the case. So we've got a head tag. In there, we can put method tags. We're just going to keep it simple and put a print, I mean, put a title. Which will just be the title of our web page. So, title. And again, you might think, why are we doing this one in one line where the others aren't? Again, once I've wrote all of the code, I will explain all of it. So, my first CGI app. And now, outside of the head, we are going to put our body. So, print body. 
Again, let's just close off the body before we forget. And now in here, we're going to do print. And we're just going to put like a header tag. We'll put page three and we'll just say, again, let's close off. This is HTML body section. Fantastic. So we've got that saved. Before we run it, let me just explain why some of them, some of the tags are in separate lines, the closing and ending tag, and some are on the same line. So we got HTML. We got this HTML. So opening, closing. And the reason they're on separate lines is because there's going to be quite a bit of code in between. And we're going to be adding to that post. So having you all on one line is very practical. Same with the head, same with the body. Whereas with the title, we're probably not going to make it more complex than that. Same with the H3, probably not going to make it more complex than that. If we had a div and there was you know, a bunch of other tags inside of it and they had tags and then they had like attributes and whatnot, then you would want to separate it out a bit more. But you think you can, you know, sort of see it as a logical structure that you would have in you know HTML if you wrote HTML before. So now that we save that, let's run it. So file.py. Okay, we get a server request error. So let's have a look what's wrong. First of all, make sure all the code is correct. Content type text HTML. Okay. Okay, let me just check the first tag. USR, correct, for slash bin, for slash python. That looks, you know, honestly all good to me. And there may be an issue with, with the actual rights. So let me try this. I found that this sometimes happens. So if I do ch I'm going to change the rights to, I'm going to do 755, there we go, okay, if you get that problem, just change the rights to 755 for reading, writing and execution, so here we go, as you can see, it's shown this, you might be thinking, where's the rest of it, remember, this isn't, you know, printed, we got the My First CGI app up here, this obviously just tells the web page, you know, Python that it's a HTML page and this is all that's going to display if we were to inspect it and go to head We have the title my thinking we didn't write shadow root That's something automatically generated by the web, web browser again You know some of this is just automatically generated by the web browser including this as well But we've got our h3 as we put in our Python code. So honestly, that's it for the basic CGI, you know app we'll be covering CGI a bit more in depth in the following videos thanks for watching and like i said because this can be quite a heavy topic just, just to get going just to get started feel free to message me and i will help you out and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video